Find me, I'm just going to uh, pop this up on my socials and we'll get uh, started now. We are building at Sanctuary. Uh, I've decided that I've seen a quite a few, uh, quite a few people building at Sanctuary, so I've decided I've never done it and I want to start. I want to make sure that I'm not left out, basically. Uh, give me one moment, and it shouldn't take long. Let me just do this. the wrong button. Ah, I did it again. computer has decided it wants to go very very slow on me there we go go all right so as you can see we are here at sanctuary now i have done some i did my stream the uh last weekend i have done a little bit more since so we'll do a quick little uh quick little tour of, of that let's make sure my sound is working my sound is working fine so uh obviously modded but uh I'm trying to sort of go for a uh, so the, the people that live here they've they've built it up quite quite substantially uh, so we have the uh, the front gate here which just leads into a little uh, just a little area at the front here which is basically this building here is going to be my uh, my welcome center my uh, where all the traders everyone's got to sort of go in here before they uh, they enter the the, the settlement itself. And we have a, uh, a little gun, uh, a weapons dealer there, and uh, just a quick traders with his little house over there. But we will go over and have a look at 
the Welcome Centre here. Uh, so we have the city laws. All traders must be signed in at the registration office and carry ID. Weapons to be holstered while, while in the city limits. All members of security have the authority to detain anyone they wish for any reason. It kind of sounds uh, kind of sounds a little bit mean, but hey. Uh, anyone caught without their ID papers will be arrested on the spot. Uh, all residents must report any suspicious activity immediately. And non-security resident curfew, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. So basically, when you uh, when you come to the settlement, you uh, will come here to the uh, the check-in counter, uh, and we have the uh, the costs up there. Just a trader's pass is uh, 20 caps, but it's just for 24 hours. Um, temp t uh, temporary resident is 1,500 caps, and a housing permit is 2,500 caps. Uh, so we have a uh, little kitchen area where people can, while they're while they're waiting for their little meeting, can uh, can, can sit and read a magazine and possibly have a cup of coffee. Now we have the uh, the registration office, so everyone gets called in here and uh, questioned and uh, have their photo taken uh, for their ID. And then over here we have the uh, the file room, which is basically uh, where files on everyone that comes and goes is uh, are kept so what I wanted to do was I did start to build I was originally going to turn this into like a little bit of a uh, uh, a sheltered little laneway here but I'm now thinking I might make it um, for sort of guards guards quarters uh, just to, to have a quick sleep and, and get back to work But before we continue with that, I am going to uh, start building on my bar now. I am using uh, a mod that just basically gives me this building. Uh, it's the same one that you will find at Egret Tours Marina. Uh, so I do have to fix the floor because there is no way to place anything on these floors. So I've actually had to place a pl uh, foundation out and just glitched the building in so I'm going to have to do the same with the top floor as well it's pretty straightforward it's just a, a little bit of a pain in the ass to do at times uh, yeah place anywhere go over to structures and basically we've just got a glitch of floor uh, glitch of floor now I did want to try and see if I can glitch in the entire floor in one hit so we might give that a shot first now the buildings uh, Four by three. Try the uh, try the good old fashioned uh, concrete pillar glitch here first. I doubt it's going to work. But it's worth a shot. Uh, I'll probably try and do it on this corner over here. I doubt it'll work uh, because the scrapping mods that I'm using do mess with. Uh, they do mess with things a little bit. Why can I not place that pillar? So if we need to, I think I'm going to have to uh, glitch in each floor piece separately. Yeah, it's 
not going to let me. Damn it. Oh, not to worry. We'll uh We'll just do it the hard way. Basically we'll just have to uh glitch in each of the uh each of the floor pieces. And what we'll do is we'll start over here. Now all I gotta say is thank goodness for uh place anywhere. It doesn't even have to be neat. Um I did want sort of the junky look but it's just going to take a few minutes to uh to get this done. In fact, we might be able to actually just start cli uh, snapping floor pieces together. We will see. Let's try. Nope. Not going to let me. going to I want to make this basically my bar with a, a couple of like a bunkhouse on top of where you can rent a room do have to do the entire floor because uh, otherwise I can't place furniture. Well, that was odd. I think my uh Sometimes the uh, place anywhere mod, if you've used it enough or you've got a ton of them just sitting around, what will happen is your mod will stop working. And the only way to fix it is to out of the game, uninstall the mod, load your game, save and reinstall it. As you'll see there, I'm just I'm just glitching it just below the uh, the surface. So you will see the floor from underneath, but I don't think it looks too out of place. fix the roof and the bloody great big hole that's in the, uh, the side of the building.
I could have done this a different way by placing the floors out and then glitching the actual building over the top. That was probably a quicker way of doing it, but I didn't think of that until just now. just so they don't look so uh, they don't look like they're a different height that should be fine so where did we get up to so we're basically almost in line with the stairs right it's going to look a little odd from underneath but hey I'm not too worried We'll use rugs over that bit there to, to sort of hide. Oh, give me one moment. I'd better make sure I plug my computer in. Now plug back in. Perhaps we can just do this. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. At least the floor's fixed now and I can actually use it. Uh, so now we'll need to fix up the walls here. Now I'm tossing up whether or not I use these or I go the brick. I might just go the barn, but go a different colour. Go unpainted like they've... Uh, They've repaired the walls themselves. And they work out the right height anyway, so... Now for anyone that's watched most of my other videos, I will be incorporating quite a lot of the 
techniques and, and little builds that I've done previously into this. Uh, um, my idea behind this is basically a, a, a another capital, another uh, major settlement other than Diamond City. Place out a couple because we're going to need them. Uh, so I'll be incorporating quite a lot of um, quite a lot of things. Uh, I'm going to attempt to put my fireplace that I built. I'm going to try and manage to get uh, my chandeliers that I made. Um, I'm going to try and get a little bit of everything. Uh, the solar panels that I uh, I made the same as I did in my uh, Oasis treehouse build. I want to try and get it all sort of all into the same thing, into the same settlement. All I can say is thank goodness for place anywhere. I can do most things with uh, the pillar and the rug. place anywhere mod just makes things so much faster and I do know a lot of people don't like using the place anywhere Probably totally messed up doing a roof on this, uh, but hey. See if we can get a roof onto this. I don't think we're going to be able to snap it all completely. We will get a couple of pieces to snap, but that's. Maybe we try floors, maybe floors will work. Because the floors might glitch over the top of each other. Looks like we're doing this the hard way.
can we get any more snapping going? Try this a different way. We might uh, place any way pillar. Let's try this a slightly different way. So now we get it snapping there, but it won't snap there. It's going to snap like that all the way to there. Either way, we're going to end up with a gap. Hmm. There has to be a way that this is going to work. Perhaps it's because my uh, walls aren't high enough. Let's see if we lift the walls up a little bit. I wouldn't mind if it uh, went under. I wouldn't mind if it actually went under the root, the existing roof. Always glitch one in there. go down just slightly
fill that gap there. getting somewhere. Just need to glitch in a couple of just a couple of um, floors into the ceiling, and we should have this done. Side here without picking up what we've already done. One that really bugs me about this mod is the way that the items will jump. spot where there's no floor. Where is that? Oh, we've got floor all the way around. I don't understand why it's doing that. If I had to do this with the uh, pillar and the rug, it would take absolutely forever. I 
absolutely forever to do. It's very annoying. Excuse me. Kind of messy, but who cares? realized I'm probably going to lose my uh, pillar now. I didn't do my uh, lift it up and then move it. that bit there. I'll have to glitch one just in there. Probably should have done the uh, measured, worked out the the walls first, and then glitched the building into it. Probably would have been a bit quicker. Ah, well, 
next time. Just due to being on uh, PlayStation 4 and not having the external assets, there's no way to make it that they can, you can build inside here. I think it was just that spot there that we had to finish and the corner up there. Now I don't think I'm going to be building on top. But if I do, then I'll have to figure out a way to hide the messiness up the top. the rest of this. Uh, I do want to put a set of stairs at the front but I don't want the normal stairs that I use. Damn it, I could have used one of these. Now I do have those brick walls, but I don't know. Might look better having them. Well, I'm going to be focusing on the bottom floor anyway, for the time being. I may decide to change to the brick walls. Yeah, I think that's probably a better option. There's the stairs that I want. to start to furnish this. really don't like that, but nothing I can do about it. I guess we might just, I might just build around it. Um, 
stores. I don't think we can place anything on there. I think I'm going to have to actually glitch in a counter too. So let's do that first. So we have this one, which I think is the same length. might glitch one of these into it and then we can uh, again we can place things on there because it'll use this as the oh no that's going to hang out the other side damn you without your bloody It's all because we don't have external assets. No external assets means we uh, have to do things the hard way. just see it but not much I can do about that It gives me a way that I can measure the others too. be able to place things on the counters. See, look at that. Now I do have a mod, uh, Skylines, um, workshop or something I'll leave a, a link in the description uh, but it's a German mod so some of my things have got some weird names uh, like that there what exactly is it oh yeah don't don't be uh, Don't be worried and confused why I have uh, strange, strange. I don't think I've opened the bars yet, no. Uh, workshop decoration pack. Let me just uh, turn on my bar. Oh, face is all itchy. Come on. Thank you. Now, I don't particularly like that one. Where's the other junky one we've got? A 
collect that one. So maybe I glitch that in over the top. We'll see how that looks. Well, you're not going to let me get rid of that now. It'll be some stupid thing that's stopping me from uh, picking it up. No, looks like crap. I guess we're just going to be going and doing. Uh, Guess we'll just do a uh, a normal trader and then we'll uh, decorate it around so that it looks right. Yeah, I think the mod that I've got, the the, the German one, is uh, Skylines PS4 Workshop or something. Uh, and in each of the store categories it actually adds in a lot of stuff that sort of makes sense to be in in each category uh, I just lost my shop rug one of the uh, really bad downsides to mods See if we can get a piece of carpet in the back there, and I'll be able to place the uh, should be able to place the bar rug onto that. I don't really like using it. looks a little naff to me, but I am not spending the time I've just had an idea what I can put over here Let's get shelves. So not got counters. Does the wide one look too wide? Well, I'm just going to go and take a really quick break. Go and have a, uh, a cigarette. be back in a moment.
I am back. I'll just check my Facebook quickly. Alright, where were we? We were, we're uh, figuring out how we were going to turn our bar into a bar. What I might actually do is I might sleep quickly and uh, I do have a bed around here somewhere. Over here. Let's make it a bit easier for you guys to see. better can we all see now? No, I certainly can. Now I don't have any settlers here yet I'll be waiting until I uh, build up the entire area or a fair amount of it before I um, before I get settlers in here so I'll add in some shelving but I don't want too much prefab stuff there's the one full of food so I've got these ones too but they're all too long as well Use a sh old fridge and we'll uh, fill it chock full of food. Some of the collisions on these are sh stupid. Like, that's nowhere near the wall. But look, it doesn't want to go near. Ah, oh, look, my menu's glitched out on me again. There's one that's full of food. No, I don't want weapons. Get our glitch tool here. We'll glitch in a fridge. One without a door, and we'll use it as a shelf. Put one without a door in the uh, your so menu. I like that one. I do. Really old uh, Calvinator fridge. in there. Let's put a counter. Let's put one of these. do it right we will be able to glitch it in and it will sit flush to the wall Let's see if we can make that so that bring it out a little bit
I like it. I like it a lot. I'm really annoyed about that. I don't know what we're going to do. I could just wall off around it and... I don't know, we'll see how that looks, we'll try that. And a nice junky wall around it, just to see what it looks like. Don't snap, you stupid thing. Well, uh, I have to do it this way. It kind of gets rid of the uh, the broken bit. Let's put a door on there and uh, let's see what a door looks like. Might use the uh, junk fence doors. <sighs> see what that looks like. Make it, I don't know, a storage unit or a storage area or something. Fill it with boxes and crates. Just don't know if it's going to stick up through the roof at all. Let's go up and have a look. It does just. Hmm. You want me? Oh. Hey, uh, itchy face today. Hmm. I suppose we can always cover that with a piece of furniture. Hide it. And then that can act as a little storage area. But I will have to uh, fill in those walls, th those windows. See where I'm walking. Hmm. That looks all right, I think. Look, say the name of it. A oh, Hutton wand. The mod that I'm using changes certain uh, items' names. to snap in the right place. I we'll have to just glitch that one in. That looks alright. And then we'll glitch one in there. it in right it'll look like it's uh look at that and that could be a little uh a little balcony sticking out the doorway I like it okay so what we do have to actually do is uh Work out our decorations. So 
look at some decorations on the bench here. Come on. All the uh, mods that I'm using tend to slow things right down. So that's what's dumb about these. Oh, we're getting glitchy. We're getting glitchy. All the mods I'm using cause my uh, game to occasionally freak out and go all weird. Let's make that look like it's sitting on that shelf. Oops, I grabbed the whole building. These are cool. I like these. I really do. Box of stuff. Let's put a couple of boxes of stuff. So we'll finish doing uh, the furniture first. Furniture cafe, let's do some of these. Some of the collision on some of the items are pretty crap.
newspaper chair. Let's put a newspaper chair in. In fact, let's do a. Uh, Let's do a couple. put our uh, food on the floor like that. I forgot what I'm looking for. <laughs> me. Give us some chairs. A bunch of random chairs. All right. I do want to get some lighting in here. We'll just make that a little, uh, little storage room. These ones I gotta glitch them in. Now I wanna put a wall in there with a door. So we might do that now. 
like a warehouse. Turn upstairs into a uh, sort of a hotel. I don't think that pokes through. Gah! Why has everything got to poke through? out. If we can figure out how we can uh, utilize that. if we do this that's going to poke out the wall. Look out the back here, let me see. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll uh, glitch a couple of the normal ones and we need to move that fridge. That fridge is... Uh, a couple of these on top of each other.
guess it was a, uh, I don't know, a little weird reading nook or something. I had an, I just had an idea. Let me see if it looks all right. Just fit one. Kind of a really weird little uh, kitchenette thing. And again, it's doing the stupid friggin' collision again. What the one with the sink in it? straight about as straight as we're gonna get it Is one of those in next to it? No. That's just going to look weird. Okay, I have a weird little kitchen. So this is going to be like a little uh, bunk house. Or I might even make it the bar owner's uh, home. In fact, I think I might do that, turn this area up here into his house. So he'll need a kitchen. I like it, I like it. Now it is time to uh, do some lighting. miscellaneous I think it's in come on
So many mods and I forget where everything is. No, it's not in that. What's it in? Miscellaneous. Girl, I can't remember where they are. I'm looking for tires that I know I've got. be using some of these I think that's cool across the top of the bar like that ah stuck on a bloody table oh, I've already got one blue one these I like these give a little bit of texture to windows be a real pain in the ass to place. If anyone else uses CVA you'll understand how it works but it could be a real prick. Really annoying sometimes. Just to get simple like the little things to place where they don't want it to place properly. Find my wheels. Um, what were they under? I can't remember. So many mods, so many, yeah. Uh, Get where things are. Ooh. Ooh. If it's after all the billboards. These are pretty cool too. I use these quite often for uh, for like curtains and stuff. Sub smile. Fallout settlement. What's cracking? Aha! Found what I was looking for. I wanted these. Where is that? There's a little one. I think it's that one. Yes. 
One, two. They're the ones I've wanted, look at that. Now where'd I leave my pillar? Oh, my game's getting glitchy again. Oh, headset's really annoying me. First, I need to uh, We don't need four lots of candles, but hopefully I can pick this whole thing up now. Ah, it's not going to do it. Oh, I'll have to put the uh, conduits in last then. For uh, anyone watching uh, that watched my um, 
Scumba, Monkey Island, Scumba build. You have an idea of what I'm doing right now. through the floor. Grr. Now I think he's working. Damn it, I was really hoping that would work. Um, it's because the roof's not high enough. I'm going to try it one more time. so many candles I'll just use the three ah stop doing it
Maybe if we do it a little bit lower, we might it might look better. Don't do this crap to me. Thank you. Glitch a uh, conduit into the ceiling. Hopefully, this time it works. I might just do the one. I was uh, going to do a couple, but. Stupid ball. Find it now. To uh, fix that one, she's in the wrong spot. Really? Such touchy f buttons. Ah, my workshop's playing up again. I 
I see something. Can we go into workshop mode crouching? We can, because I need to be able to see the middle of that wheel to line this conduit up. Does we'll put our, uh, our candle back on? quick save just to be safe but there is a chandelier now I'm just going to take a really really quick break I will be back in two maybe three minutes so don't go anywhere
and we're back now as much as and look at my gay looking character as much as that was a pain in the ass to do i think i actually want to put one over here and then one over here so let's do that oh excuse me Facebook, I've got constant messages coming through. Alright, so now I've got to remember where those damn wheels were. I know where they were. That was in the miscellaneous. Oh, I want one of them. Stick one of them there? No, not there. Um. I want one, but I can't place it anyway. Okay, we'll figure that out in a minute. We were in miscellaneous. So many mods and my menu just freezes up sometimes. That's pretty cool. I will find a use for this. That's for certain. And I will be putting in a uh, boxing ring too. That's pretty cool. So it's from the workshop decorations pack. So the uh, houses over there popping back in. As soon as I stop, it'll go away. Place out these couple of tires and then I will go and sleep. Where is it? Maybe we'll do a different one. Huh, it's not static. I'm going the wrong way, my bed's over here. <sighs> That's better. I can see what I'm doing. I do have two. Never mind. Let's get my uh, trusty place anywhere. Uh, let's. How do we want to do this? We want to place it first, don't we? Again, it needs to be fairly low so that I can uh, glitch in everything.
even try and do is glitch in the wires before I do the candles. Well, helps if I walk out the door, not into the door. Alright, a little bit fiddly this, but I came up with the idea when I did my uh, scumbar build. I got uh, challenged by uh, Solve, you know. Uh, we, I was watching one of his streams, and um, we we got talking about the old games we used to play, and we both used to play uh, the old Monkey Island games. And one thing led to another, and he, not not exactly a challenge, but he said it'd be cool to see the scum bar, uh, which was a little pirate bar. So I did a bit of practice and I worked it out, but one thing that it had was, uh, it had um, chandeliers made out of old, like, cartwheels. Uh, seeing as we don't have cartwheels in this game, I thought the next best thing was um, to go and use some t old tyres. And the outcome was really good. We have to crouch to do this, don't we? Uh, and I also built a, uh, a stone fireplace, which I am definitely going to be trying to work into into this if at all possible in and out of build mode I'm sure you'll be well worth it place another one now this is just so I can do the uh, the wire glitch Now for anyone that doesn't know how to do this, all you need to do is, it works on PC and it works on Xbox as well, you need to target as close to the conduit as you can, but just get the wire, now make sure that you hit cancel once you've uh, done that, otherwise what you will do is you will select what you don't want. Because we're in such a tight squeeze here. We'll do it this way. So basically select the as close to the conduit as you can. And select the attach wire. And you can actually glitch it. And you can glitch it as far as you like. Um, it'll basically glitch through everything else that's there. stuck on everything here that kind of it's a little out of whack but you're not going to see it in fact we might actually add one more just so they don't all look the same
again select as close as you can before you hit the conduit push your uh, attach wire and then cancel out uh, because you can potentially get the, uh, the the spark that just doesn't go away Probably should have done this before I put all this furniture in, but hey. For the effect that I'm going for, it works quite well. Just do the third one that's just gonna go about here Hey, Julie. Who oh, we got there? Sorry, I'm on the wrong page. Hey, Z, how are you, my friend? I'm uh, having some fun making chandeliers. Redoing Sank too. Yeah, I've never really, I've never really built here. Uh, when the game first came out, I built, built it up a little bit, but never, uh, never the way I'm planning on now. I've been watching um, Cordless VII and uh, No Respawns, and they're building up their sanctuaries. So I thought I would join in the. Uh, Join in and do one of my own. And right now I'm building, uh, making some chandeliers. I didn't want to just use normal lighting. And there's a fucking rad roach on the wall over there. Can you see that? Over there? There's a rad roach. I don't raid Norse pawns. No, I don't like him too much either anymore. He's, uh... I won't say anything bad about him, but... He's not exactly, uh... Not exactly on my top ten list anymore. Him and F13. Yeah, I'll agree with that. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's a uh, he's got some good ideas. He's got some great ideas, but he's just not my. Uh, 
Not not my type of uh, builder anymore. So how have you been Z? I've been a little uh, little lazy on my streams lately. Lost my last playthrough. Oh, that sucks. I had uh, the save that had all my all, all my major builds on it get corrupted last week. I lost absolutely every build I've done. So, what do you think, Z? What do you like my chandeliers? That one's kind of burning the candle there, but hey. Get over level seven zero in its struggles. <laughs> yeah, because I I do mostly building, so I just use uh, like cheap mods to to glitch it. I had a character that was like level two thousand, and I think that was one of the reasons. It uh, crashed my game. I lost every major build I've done. It kind of sucked. I was really really pissed off. Yeah, they work. I like them. So I'll show you. Great idea with chandelier. Yeah, I did it because I had um, I had Uno Bros challenge me. We were talking, and one of the old games we used to play was um, Monkey Island. And I built the scum bar, but they have chandeliers, so I had to figure out a way. And I've decided I want to integrate a few of my ideas into this build. So I'll give you a, uh, a quick run through. We have our, uh, our front gate here with a couple of uh, different styled uh, guard towers there. We come in through here and we have our, uh, our little welcome center over here. Now this took friggin ages to, to do. Uh, just the city laws. Friggin' ages to place out each and every one of those. A little, uh, little welcome center where you got to sign in. A little file room. Uh, registration office. I got just a, uh, a, a trader here. And his little house. I haven't done a lot of decoration yet. I'm going to be doing most of the building and then do the decoration. And then we have the uh, the weapons dealer. Uh, if we come on around here, I don't know exactly what I'm doing here. I I'm trying three new mods. Flat Sanct. I hate bramble bushes and skyline workshop. German. I'm using Skyline Workshop. Uh, other than it being in German and it messing with a few other uh, sort of vanilla things in the game, I'm really enjoying it. It's got some really good stuff in it. That sign would have broke me. <laughs> it took me about an hour. I had to keep stopping. I was just getting uh, getting really frustrated. We have the uh, the weapons dealer's little uh, home here. Uh, I want to make it sort of really junky, but I want to make it look like it's uh, been built by 
whoever lives here. Now this building here, uh, this was a pain in the ass on PlayStation 4. Uh, you get these buildings. It's but great you... mod, but no idea with the vendor mats. <laughs> yeah, I know, I can't understand it. Google, uh, Google Translate will fix that for you. You just Google it. Yeah, I know, but it's a good mod. Uh, so hopefully he, uh, hopefully there becomes an English version. But w most of us know enough about what's in the game that we sort of know. The water towers are cool. <laughs> yeah, I haven't used them yet. I'm planning on it. I'm planning on it. But no, this building was an absolute pain in the ass. If you want to see something that's really uh, looks really frustrating, this roof. I pretty much snapped in maybe four or five pieces and then had to place anywhere the rest. Because on PlayStation 4 and the same with the floor. FK translating four zero mats. <laughs> yeah. Ah we we you work it out. Test it out. That's all you can do. Yeah, but I'm using Skylines too. He's got it's actually not a bad uh it's a good mod. Like, I love this picture. Where is it? I love this. That looks cool. Which one do I want? Okay, that one. Uh-oh. Uh, I missed a bit. Oh, no, I didn't. I like I like in this how he's turned uh, the little billboards made little billboards. Where are they? Here, they're actually the, the bald floor snap through the roofs, and they are the only thing that stops rain. I know it's kind of stupid, but hey, you know what? They're dirty settlers; they can live in the rain. But no, I like these. These are all the billboards shrunk down and there's one other one I really liked but now this building's been a pain in the ass I've basically had to uh, oh I'm getting all glitchy again the floors the ceilings the bench I had to glitch stuff in whoa and get out of workshop mode my game's getting very glitchy and I think it's just uh, bad mods bad load order the vault boy pictures are okay just don't think they suit nah Nah, me neither. I agree with that. Um, they're good, but like when you got stuff like this, like the felons' department store and stuff, lone wanderer. Let's use a lone wanderer. Yeah, <laughs> stick it in the fridge. Ah, the mod does have some good stuff in it, um, but yeah, it looks certain things could have been done better. The rig leaning and additions are great. Yeah. Ah, that's my CVA. I want to stick like a billboard on the side of this thing. Let's go Hubris Comics. That doesn't fit. Fuck it. This building's got such a wide space on it. I might throw one on the back here. 
Big bloody, bloody great big Nuka Cola one. Break up the boringness of that wall a little bit. Look at that. Like a bought one. So yeah, I wanted a uh I wanted a bar but I didn't want to build a shack, so I want to actually use a building. But I'm thinking what what do you reckon, Z? Do you reckon I should uh get rid of these walls and make them brick? Because if I'm going to do that, I'm going to have to do that first before I build upstairs. And I need to put my other uh, generator in too. Two of them. Looks okay. Depends on the roof. Well, at the moment, it's just the flat roof. I don't think I'm going to build on top. Um, I may just use, say, um, warehouse or barn roofs just to give it a little bit of texture and a little bit of a, a different look. I don't think I'm going to be building up there. But I do want to go multi-level, so I probably will have to do something. This one over here. Is that a USO house? It comes with USO, yeah. Yeah, it comes with USO. Problem with it is you can't build into them. Uh, I worked out that if you drop a foundation and then place anywhere, so you just can't see it, you can place things normally. Look at that, I've got three candles on the floor. Four candles. Um, but it's just been a pain in the ass getting it so I can build into it. I didn't want to use the original house that was here, uh, even though well, it was all busted up, but I didn't want to build a shack, I wanted something that looked like a real building. And I think it sort of fits. I'm going to put a red rocket in here too, a red rocket I think is going to go there, or over at that house there. I don't know, I haven't decided where I'm putting it yet. Drop a couple of these down, just add the light. I like these, these are cool. And I accidentally deleted the roadway here. Are you building many brick buildings? I'm thinking I'm going to. Uh, basically, the all the foundations are busted up houses, except for that one there. I'm going to be rebuilding, but I don't want to build like big shacks. I want to build proper proper buildings. Because uh, I've also got on this in the USO, you get the um, uh, sunshine tidings houses too. Uh, so I think I might build a couple of, use a couple of those as well. I 
I've sort of got a bit of a plan for this build, but nothing really set in stone. Where are they? I like these, these lights are cool. The little shack from USO is a bit too small. Yeah. This one here. I like this one because you can do a lot with it. You can add walls. Uh, I'm going to make this a, uh, like a chem dealer. I think. I don't know. I'm sort of building this very, very slowly to get focusing on one building at a time, basically. The throw shack from the pond I meant. Ah, oh, yeah. And up here is going to be his, uh, where, where the bar owner lives. I'm but just, I'm... I like its fireplace. Yeah. Uh, where is it? The building over the back there, uh, where the armor, uh, where the weapon shop own, owner lives. That's one of these. I just sunk it right into the ground. Keep thinking you're at Egret. Yeah, well, that's the same building from Egret to us. So I've got these. These are the uh, Sunshine Tidings houses. This one here. This one's pretty cool. I might make that like a little, uh, I might turn that into Mama Murphy's house. And I've got my, uh, red rocket that I'm going to build. That's pretty cool. So there's the Egret Tours building. And then I've got these houses here as well. So I might even try and utilize a couple of these. Um, I need a sign. I need to put a sign up. This is where my game will get very glitchy. Right, where's my, uh, where is it? CVA messes with my game, something shocking. I do like these, these look cool.
Oh well, where is it? Well, CVA is a good mod. It's just buggy as hell, and if you don't know how to use it, 90% of the things aren't placeable. The snapping picket fences in Skyline are great. I haven't used them yet. I have not used them. I've by well, I seen a video on the mod, and thought, hey, that looks cool. Uh, it was more for the signs and stuff. But um, this build is going to be a lot different to what I've normally been doing. Wow. Not different, but I'm going to be doing things a different way. So we call it the shamrock. Stick that up there on the roof. I don't I got rid of Astlum's mods. Yeah, I think I'm only using one. Um, I think I'm only using one of his now. But I could be wrong. I've got... 